welcome to my channel, Big Little Gaming, or if you've watched my previous video, welcome back, guys. Today's part of the tutorial will be the mine, miner's item mover. And basically, if you have a mine shaft underground, you're sure with like four people, and your stuff is getting mixed up, and you say you find something valuable, like diamonds here, and you don't want to lose those diamonds by having to go all the way back up, because you might get blown up by a creeper or shot by a skeleton, or your fall, whatever the consequence might be. And you end up losing those uh, valuable materials. And you feel like you want to go up to your house to protect it to make sure. Because you have more of a chance of it. Nothing happened to it if you go back and put it in chest. And if you throw away, just type it. So you just want to keep having fun. I mean, you only have so much time in life. You want to have fun. So uh, basically, this hopefully this will help you today. And so basically, I found 10 diamonds. I just found 10 diamonds in the mine chest. We'll say that. And I, I don't want to go all the way back up to my house and walk. And lose food and all that to just protect these diamonds. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and all I have to do is hit this Weasley button here. Go to my uh, place and this hatch will close, signaling that I can't throw anything else in until that um, the diamonds are delivered to this location here. And so now we're gonna see if those diamonds made it. And they did, as you can see, they're right here. And obviously this can be wherever you want. I just put it close by for the simplicity simplicity of this uh, tutorial here. Basically, each button is a different location. So location one, location two, location three, and location four. And uh, this is really helpful if you have like four different people in the same mineshaft. So you can have each button assigned to a certain person and it'll go to a certain house. And so say you have Tony's house, Rick's house, Vicky's house, and Robert's house. And uh, say Robert just found the stuff, he wants to go to his house, doesn't want to go all the way back up. They throw the stuff in there, go to that house, it's safe and sound, and the next person that wants to throw more, uh, to break, put, go up to their base. You can throw stuff here, uh, press the button and go to their place, or their location. And a good thing about this is when you go back up to your house, all your stuff that you find in the mine shaft is all there, and you didn't have to stop mining. You, you just kept going. So, I hope this helps. So now we're gonna get, and yeah, do, uh, do the tutorial now. Okay, now we're gonna start the tutorial. Basically, start off, make sure you have a hollow four by nine black pad here and fill in or there's space you're gonna want to sell your mind shop because that's where you're gonna have your materials dropping in and uh basically from this here you're just gonna want to make sure that you have enough space here all the way down here 20 blocks and I just put this here to symbolize how big you need for this build and so you know, I want uh, space underneath here. That's why I love this hollow to put the redstone, some of the redstone in. Okay, so let's get sort of uh, the redstone in oh. no, here. Here. Now we'll get your buttons out. One in here, one here, one here, and one here. And open up a hatch there. But then you're gonna want to take uh, for lighting. I like putting. Put close down right here. Now, whatever you want to put the light, because it's gonna be dark down in my shaft and I'm gonna see. That's not basically we have this so far. And now uh coming out here, I'm just gonna put a block on the back here, another block here, another block here, and a block there. And we're gonna put redstone at each of these here. put a block here so it should look like this and then we're gonna put uh fortunes here 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 and here and then i come down one two up one two up and I get rid of these blocks and save all these torches And put redstone, 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 redstone. And we're gonna put a torch. 
here, 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 right here. Now we're gonna come down one block up this, light that, and take that block up. So it looks like this will do that with every single torch. So now you should have just like this, and then you're gonna want to put redstone each of these here. So it looks like this. That's what you should have so far, and you're gonna want to connect these up here. And put a uh, repeater here. Repeater here, repeater here, the repeater here, and actually you're gonna bring this out. And you're gonna come like this, take that block out. Here, take that block out. Then you're gonna wanna come like this, like that. And then you're gonna come out like this, and like that. Then you're gonna put redstone along here. Put a repeater here with a four typically. Then you're gonna come up like that, put a block right there. And then you're gonna come out one, two, three, four, five. And then put a rail here. A regular rail here. A hard rail here, a detector here, and a regular rail here. So it should look like this. And now we're gonna put a torch here, 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 and here. Then we're gonna come down to an out again. To an out again. Two and out again, and one more time. And actually, we don't need this block here, and or this torch. We can take that uh, last one out. Just have the redstone here. Uh, now I get to put a uh, redstone here, here, and here. All right, guys. So basically. This is how the figure should look so far. If you don't have that, then uh, please go back and make sure, uh, go back to the video and make sure that you have what I have here. Alright All right, guys, to continue, what we're going to do is we're going to come out one here. Then we're going to come out one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, one, two, two, three. Then come out one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. And uh, a shell bar. And I'm gonna put a uh, card rail here, 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 and here. And then we're gonna put card rail on the rest. Here, here, here. Alright, so now, uh, we're gonna come up one, two, on each of these here. So it should look like, like that, and, uh, I'm gonna put rails. It actually looks like this. So now we're gonna put a torch under here. A torch under here. Tw 
porch under here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take from this here. We're going to come directly out from this torch right here. And go on. Just like that. That's it. Then we have... Uh, so basically, this will be going to location 1 here. Location 2. Location 3 and location 4 to give you an idea. And so basically right now, it's set to go to location 1. Then if this turns on, it'll make this rail turn the other way, which will go to location 2. And now what we're going to do is we'll make it so it's going to uh, location 3. And all we have to do for this is turn this rail. So we're going to come down here. Come all the way out here. And uh, put redstone all the way along, along here. Then, with this next one, we're just gonna come down here. Well, one like this, then we're gonna pop like that. Just like this. Then we're gonna come out like that, connect it to this torch there, and put one right there, and put a repeater like that. Alright. And so now what we should see is if we put a block here, a block here, a block here, and a block here, that, and we put a, that right there, uh, when we push put the button to go to one, it goes to that one right here. We take this out, and we bring it back here, we press this, it should go to location 2, see how it does right there, and just check to make sure that it's doing exactly what I'm doing here, otherwise we're going to screw it up later on. Make sure it goes to location 3, just like that, it's that, and then this next one which will be location 4. And if this all works, then you're doing good, so. Uh, I'm gonna hit that. And if it goes through, then you're, you're on the right track. Alright, guys, this is where you should be uh, right now. And we're gonna continue with this tour. And so basically, we're gonna come down like that. Come down like this. Come down like that. Like this. Like this. You're gonna put a block right here. And then you're gonna take out your hopper. And like this. And make sure that this is the direction of this hopper is going straight down. Just like that, so I can do anything else. And you can go like, take these blocks out right here. And go bam bam like that. Like that. And like that. Cover it up. Right? For that part. And then you can put your um, mine cart with chest. Right? Like that. So. Now. We're gonna put a for the uh, the hatch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that out here. Then we're gonna put a sticky piston. Like that. And put this. So now it's open. And then now if you do this, it's closed. And you just gotta come up with that. And come up with this. Go up one. Go up another one. And then you're gonna go up here. Go up here. And you're gonna put a uh, redstone block on top of this block right here. Then you're gonna come up with that. Put a Sticky piston, like that. Come out one here, and actually three. Take those two blocks out. Put a sticky piston right here. And then you're gonna put a block here, a block here, some redstone on top of here, torch here, and a torch here. Then you're gonna come out like that. And you're gonna come straight down right here. Not again. 
Just like this. And you're gonna just put redstone on this whole thing here. Uh, screw up. It should actually be going to this here. Sorry about that. Alright, just like that. It's now you gotta put redstone here. Sorry for the confusion. And so you should have this so far. Make sure it's coming up here. You got two blocks out here. It goes up two. It goes this way one. It goes one, two, three. And make sure it's connected to this top one, not this redstone right here. And make sure you have our redstone right here. I can take that out and actually put words in like that. So. Right now, if we put a glowstone here in there and test it, if you press this button here, that hat should close and your glowstone should be in this right, uh, right here so far. You can see that yeah, pulled down a little stone. And uh, I know when you're down there testing it, just uh, put put it back. The minecart test. Put it back. And then just take out this again. And it's going out to reset it. And so the hatch is open again. And uh, I'll just get an overview here. If you don't have what I have here, then please go back in the video. And make sure, and so we're on the same page. Okay, hey guys, to continue, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, our white wall, and we're gonna come all the way down to this middle here. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna come off here and go one, two, three, four. Then one, two, one, two. Then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and one, two. A one, two, I did take this, uh, white wool back here away, and so I have room for the redstone. This is the back of it, and so I should just meet up with it, and so it wouldn't get in the way, if you're wondering about that. Now basically you put a radio rail, here, a uh, powered rail, then a detector rail, then a regular rail. All the way down here, and all the way over here. Then you're gonna put a regular rail here, regular rail here, regular rail, or power rail, power rail, power rail, power rail. Then you're gonna put uh, regular rail, regular rail, regular rail, regular rail, and same all the way down here. And then, just like that. So right now you should have this. Sure, and Next, what we're gonna do is put a block right here, a block right here, and put a torch there, and a torch right here. So you should have that. Then you're gonna take these two grids out here and put a detector. Then you're gonna come take uh, those two detector grids, and go one, two, out here. And uh, have the spread stone in here. And then you're gonna uh, have a torch right here and right here. And have a torch here, a torch there. Then you're gonna come down here one, come up, and then let's connect the redstone up to this torch here. And so basically, when the minecart comes back, it'll go back on this rail, they'll go back on that rail, it will it'll come back through this rail here, and then it'll come back through this rail on this, on this fourth one here, and so make sure you have that so far. Hey okay, guys, to finish up, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to these um, hard rails here, and place a block underneath each, and we're going to put a torch here, here, here and here. And so all these reels are lit. 
And now we're just going to take this uh, rail right here, bring this to wherever you want, at whatever house or base or whatever you want from the mine shaft. And just make sure that um, you have enough uh, power rail and stuff to make it, so I'll just put one here. Make sure it makes it all the way to this end here. And once you have it where you want, where your house is, where your base, come up one here, come up to that, and one up, one up here, and one, two, one up here, uh, one up uh, like that, here, like that, and uh, just regular around here, 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 here. Then replace your hard rail here, hard rail here, put a regular rail here and a regular rail like that. So this is what you should have so far. Alright, once you uh up here and then come up like that and come down here and put a hopper, make sure it faces straight. Hmm? Then put a block like that, put a hopper like this, out here and then get your dispenser, and place it right on the side here, so it's facing this way. Alright, now that you have that, now you're going to uh, fill this with like dirt or something that uh, is not very useful to you, because basically what's going to happen is when this uh, minecart comes and delivers the stuff to the house or the base or whatever, it has nothing in it, it's not going to come back, so if you accidentally make that mistake of not putting anything in before it leaves, and you have issues, and so this is make sure there's always something in there, so let's put stuff in use, let's see, yes it will appear in the chest at your base or home, but it's better than having a system there, so make sure you have that, it's really important. Then you're going to come down here, Simply uh, get your dropper off. Just like that. And then you're gonna put a hopper like this. And take those blocks out there. You can get your upside down stair. Doesn't matter which upside down stair. This, it's like this size shows. Oh, this one wasn't. Oh, uh, that. It's like that. Then, the right laser, and I'm going to get your chest off. Like this. And then, for my decoration purposes. This is what, what up your house or whatever, so you've already decorated it by making it so. like that. That's all see up in the chest right now. Now we're just gonna come over here, all the way out to this is here. And place power rail. All the way down here. Come down here. Place a torch. Like so. And over here and put, get your redstone comparator out like that and come up like that put a torch here come down one here uh, up one we're gonna make like a little pulse circuit Sure that's a four tick delay, otherwise it won't work. Then you gotta take block come up one here. And and how uh, this like this. Come on. Make sure it's like that. And you place your uh repeater there. Come all the way up there. Then right here, you're just gonna take this block out. 
and you're gonna put a uh, regular pistol. Just like that. Alright guys. Uh, Alright, test this now. Make sure we have a minecart chest right here. Now we're gonna see if uh then make sure this is set up for this and just put a minecart there and take it out really quick. Make sure the hatch is open. And place a white wool block, whatever you want to put in. Push this button here. It should close. And if it all works, that should reopen. And our white wool should be in that chest back there. Uh, also make sure, it's my bad, put a torch here, in here. It's like that, otherwise we'll stop on those rails. Did forget that. Place your thing back here. Reset this. Alright, and we'll try again. So you can place your white wool back here. And press this button. Back to close. And reopen again, we're going to see if our white wool is in the chest. And it is, look at that. Um, yeah. Oh guys, and also make sure in an event that we do need to use that dispenser there, just put a regular uh, detector right there. Come out with that. Go out one, here. Spread stuff all along here. And place uh, eight kicks right there. And this is just the event that there's nothing in the mine part and you accidentally hit the button. But basically, I have one white wall in there now. We come back here. And say I found another jewel. Let's say I found a diamond. I really like to say. I feel excited. I found a diamond. I didn't cheat. Uh, I'm gonna put it in here. And I wanna, uh, you know, little listener, I just wanna push that button. I want to go to that house or base. But wait. And that hatch should be open, and we should see that there's a diamond. And a dirt block in there. Don't worry about the dirt block. That's just in the event that I did push that button. And there's nothing in there. And so, yeah, this pretty much concludes the tutorial. You just, uh, for these right here, you just bring these out exactly like you did here to the, the other three houses or bases that you would like to connect these up to. And just go back in the video and redo this last circuit right here three times over. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to waste your time uh, doing this three more times. And so, uh, I hope this was helpful. Please leave a thumbs up if you thought this was useful or helpful uh please subscribe if you want to see more of these uh red stuff tutorials and uh ciao